now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, certainly a cold November night out there, or almost, should I say, January type of night early here in mid-November. Temperatures are hovering near the freezing mark. We're at 32 degrees at the airport right now. We've got a northwesterly wind at 6, and that's something that's going to become a bigger factor in the forecast. That is our winds. The winds are going to pick up, and it's going to turn colder for us here as we head into our Thursday. So why don't we start with our headlines here? And I've kind of broken it down into Thursday and Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday and Monday here. So starting out first with Thursday and the Friday, right now. It looks like as we head into our Thursday and Friday time frames, if we're going to have more winds across the area, that means there's going to be a little bit breezier over the next couple of days. And that with the colder air moving in spells out colder temperatures too, at least how it feels as we go through the next couple of days around here. So do expect to see colder temperatures. And that means more cold winds increase as we head into Thursday and Friday. Then as we head into our Saturday, it looks right right now it's going to be cold but fairly nice for us here in the tri-state. So Saturday Saturday is going to be kind of the quiet day over the upcoming weekend. And then we have our Sunday and the Monday time frame where, yes, there's the question and possibility of some snow in the forecast here, but also a bigger concern probably is the possibility of a bitter blast of winter-like air, colder than what we're dealing with right now. So across the area, plenty of clouds in place, and these clouds have been very stubborn so far today, and I think they're going to be stubborn on into our Thursday as well. What's happening here tonight is while there's cold air already locked in place, there's another surge of cold air, and this cold front here is what's going to help stir up those winds as we head into our Thursday and Friday. Matter of fact, tonight, while our winds are fairly light in the 5 to 6 mile an hour range, they're beginning to approach 10 to 15 across parts of Illinois and Missouri tonight. And you may say, well, Kevin, that's not terribly strong winds. But when you have temperatures in the 20s and 30s, makes a big difference out there. So we're 32 right now here in Cincinnati, but here's that colder air. Look at Casper tonight, 22 degrees below zero. It is three below in Denver, 12 in Pier, and nine in Minot. And with that reinforcement of cold air heading in our direction, that's why Thursday and Friday will feel colder than it was today. So plenty of clouds across the area tomorrow. There may be a peak or two at sun, but don't expect much. We will see some clouds tomorrow night, and I think some clouds even into Friday, although Futurecast tries to clear us out. I think it's a little too optimistic, but the overall trend is for us to stay very cold. Now, the jet stream stays well to our south. You saw the pink slide into our area. That's the very cold air. Very interesting forecast coming up as we head into early next week. While the cold we have right now is not record-setting cold, as we head into Monday and Tuesday of next week, cold air will recharge once again and if we manage to pick up any snow over the weekend that accumulates we could see temperatures down way down into the teens for overnight lows maybe even some single digits next week so stay tuned so very cold air headed our way 27 for a low tonight under mostly cloudy skies and then tomorrow expect plenty of clouds again colder winds too. check them out there out of the northwest at 10 to 15 we'll see our temperature around 35 but it will feel colder than that Temperatures tomorrow will struggle to creep above the freezing mark as those chilly breezes pick up. Here's your seven day forecast. Again, this resembles the end of January, not the middle of November, 30s across the board. And again, the chance we'll keep a close eye on this, Mike and Cherie, for the potential of snow Sunday night into Monday. All right, Kev, thank you, I think.